We've got an application here that uh, uses a, a bean record here, which is a component, a Java bean, which is going to feed in and out of a model. And what we'd like to do now is use that same guy to feed in and out of the database. But the uh, problem here is that this guy's got some methods that the database not, might not be interested in, namely these guys down here that do uh, event support and um, a two-string method right there. So uh, what I can do is there's a pretty neat feature in uh, Java, and not in Java, sorry, in Eclipse, that allows me to extract an interface. The refactoring tool here allows me to go in here and extract an interface from that bean so that if I made a design decision up front that wasn't all that good, what I can do is refactor later to uh, make my software a little more uh, flexible. So how I'm going to do that is I'm going to take my bean record and turn it into an interface that I can feed to the uh, database layer. So to do that, what I do is I define the, uh, the name of the interface. I then select all the methods that I'd like to put in that interface. And the ones I do not want to have here are the uh, property change, remove property change, and the two string. Everything else is relevant to uh, the um, database record. All of this is just simply state information. So I'll go ahead and do that refactoring. Notice that's broken something already, but let's go see what it's done to our model interface. Right here we see we're still putting bean records in and out of the, uh, the model interface. So let's change that to uh, say we're not doing bean records anymore, we're doing just straight records. So there we go with that. That should be sufficient. That should break some other things, namely my existing model. Now my existing model is also storing these bean record guys off into memory, so just have it deal with the beans instead of the bean records since this model doesn't care about the events either. So I'll get rid of all those bean guys. So now my physical model of that interface here is just going to deal with the record interface. So that fixed all of that. So model and memory is okay now. Now I just got to make sure my JFrame is working all right. And notice what's happening to it. Now this is a view that does care about uh, the fact that these guys are beans. So since this view cares about beans, probably what we should do is feed it beans. And, and this is where we're trying to feed it beans right here in this uh, view model. So what we got to do is open up that view model here with F3 and, and take a look at it. And yeah, indeed, the uh, refactoring tool changed that to a record instead of a bean, which we didn't want in this case. So let's go change it back right here. We're going to be feeding it a bean record here. In fact, when we make one, we want to make it with a record. So this guy will be a record in order to abstract it because no, notice what we're doing here is we're copying or using a copy constructor to copy this record out and turn it into a bean record. So that should work. In fact, that's the whole purpose of this view model is to change a, a late bound type interface of type record into a bean so that that bean can be used in the interface. That's a pretty important call right there. Um, but for the rest of it, uh, we also need to be able to, when the view asks me for the guy, what I need to do is return current bean record right there. So we'll return the bean record just to make sure that since we already have a bean record in the view model, we're going to feed that bean record back to the view. And uh, what else we got here? Anything else we need to do? That should be sufficient for that guy. So save him. And see if that got rid of all of our problems there. Let's take a look maybe at our the bean record itself and see what it's what it's given back. It also refactored this guy. Since this is a uh, a panel bean, in other words, it's a it's a GUI component that's strictly um, interested in displaying beans, and it has beans, we can uh, get those beans back from it. Because this guy has a model in here, which is, is a Java bean right there. The bean record is that, and the whole purpose of this uh, guy is to deal with those beans. So let's go change this guy back to a bean record. So we've done that. And we fixed our model in memory, I believe, to only do that stuff, yeah. And we fixed our model to take and deal only with records, yes. And uh, finally, maybe take a look at our uh, 
applications here. And when we're dealing with these applications, we're going to be feeding these records to different things. So what we probably ought to do is change these to just records so that we know that we can feed them to different interfaces. So there we got a couple of records instead of the bean records. And then maybe we have the same thing in our other driving application here. And, well, it fixed that one for us. So uh, we should be fine there. In fact, yeah, that, that should work out. Okay, so what we've just done here is we've taken a, uh, a GUI type environment which had a model and a view what was using Java beans and we've extracted the interface from that Java bean to create a record that we can use in our database interactions.